I'm here with the sound team from Les Miserables. Winners tonight at the CES Awards for sound mixing for a feature live action. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, I understand Tom Hooper told you he wanted to do this movie, recording all the singing live. Did that terrify you, excite you? It excited me. It gave me a chance to really show what production sound mixing can achieve. And I hear then that you tested several lobs before beginning production. What made you decide on the DPAs? The DPAs just sounded, uh, they sounded more natural. We were after a very, very natural sound. We wanted a transparent sound. Um, and the DPA really doesn't sound like a, like a lab. It sounds like a condenser mic. And you had the idea of putting mics on the outside of clothing, working with the wardrobe department and the visual effects. Did you really think Tom would go for it? I knew that it was the only chance of being able to fulfill the role of, of, of being able to record all of the dialogue and all of the singing without having any ADR. It's because not only did Tom not want the miming, he didn't want to do any ADR at all. And so given that choice, it was the only way of being able to give him that guarantee. Yeah, nobody likes doing ADR. <laughs> no, no. And, and you know what? Certainly, especially on, on, on Les Miserables, if we had have ADR'd, some of that emotional connection that the audiences had in the cinema with the characters on screen would have been lost, I'm sure. I'm sure the tracks that Simon gave you were fantastic, but how soon in production did you start hearing them and did you send him any notes, let him know what he was doing was good or needed work? You know, I, I didn't get involved till quite near the end, so um, uh, all, all the recording was done by then. So uh, the first I heard it when I got to London and started to literally work on balancing all the microphones out and, and, and putting the music in with it. So, um, but uh, you know, we talked early on, we talked through production and um, I knew he was gonna do an amazing job and boy, did he just. <laughs> He had to, I guess there was no other choice. No other choice, exactly. Well, congratulations, Thank all you. of you gentlemen, this Thank evening. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.